Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is measure out your contact paper. You're going to measure it so that there's at least one inch on each side. Once you have those measurements, go ahead and cut out your contact paper with a pair of scissors. So to cut down the contact paper even more, you're going to cut off the excess on either side. So in order to make this a bit easier, I just moved the entire piece of contact paper over to one side and had at least an inch on the right side and I'm cutting off about four inches on the left side. Now I'm going to be peeling off the back of the contact paper and putting it onto the laptop. As you can see, I'm only using a little piece at first just to make sure it's adhered to the surface. So now's the time where you're gonna take your straight edge or your ruler or an ID like I have here and you're gonna use that to press out all of the bubbles in the contact paper. You are going to be left with a few of the tiny bubbles, but that's okay. It's not really that noticeable in the end. Removing the backing little by little, you're just going to go along with your straight edge or your ID and smooth out the contact paper onto your laptop surface. And as you can see here, you're going to have at least an inch of excess contact paper on each side and you're going to be using your X-Acto knife to trim off all of this on all four sides. So next you're going to take your blow dryer. Mine is on medium heat and medium air pressure, I guess, and you're just going to run that along the sides of your laptop and you're going to work on one side at a time. Make sure that you're using the excess contact paper as a sort of handle. You're going to be pulling it down while you're running the blow dryer across it so you're going to get a nice crease. Right now I'm just trimming off some of the excess paper and don't worry it's not going to stay like this. I'm going to go back in and do a more precise trim in a bit. You're going to want to run the X-Acto knife directly on your laptop so you're going to just tilt it in just a little bit and that's going to give you a nice glide. And you're going to use your blow dryer once again just to smooth out the edges and make sure they're lying super flat. And now I'm showing you the technique one more time on another edge. As you're using your X-Acto knife to cut, make sure you are not cutting off the rounded corners just yet. As you can see here, I left mine because we're going to get to it in one second. Okay, so time for the rounded corners. You're going to take that handle and pull it down and use your blow dryer just to make sure that the edges stay rounded and they don't crease and fold. And this is one side completely finished. So now that we've finished all four corners, if you have a Mac, you know that there's a little apple symbol in the middle, so you may want to cut this out. So I'll show you how to do that now. 
you're going to pretty much do the exact same thing that you did before and just use your X-Acto knife to trace along the sides of the shape. If you open up the top of your laptop, your Apple symbol will illuminate so it'll be much easier for you to cut it out. So just cut it out and peel it off and there you have it, your new laptop skin. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!